From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The Johannesburg Property Company invited media in December last year to view the construction sites of the new 340 million rand Johannesburg Council Chamber building and Alexandra Township's latest mall, Alex Mall. David Oliveira reports. JPC Property Development Senior Manager Alan Dinney explained during the tour that the new building, expected to reach completion in March, would have seating for 361 council members as well as 158 dedicated seats in a balcony for the public and media, addressing the lack of seating in the current council chamber. This is the new iconic council chamber for the city of Joburg. It's a statement about the rejuvenation of the city of Joburg. Denny had told media that the new chamber had been designed with the circular Lechotla, the traditional meeting place for African decision makers, in mind. It is highly symbolic in terms of architecture. It's shaped in a traditional circular shape for meetings. It's inspired by the visions of, of drum, drums and drum beats. Denny also noted that a drum would be used to sound the start of council proceedings, rather than the European tradition of using a bell, which is currently used locally. The building will also have visible gold fixtures to symbolize its presence in Johannesburg, whose history is synonymous with the precious metal. A standout feature for the new building is its glass facade, which will enable not only council members to look out into Johannesburg, but also the public to look in on council meetings. Denny highlighted that the facade symbolized the importance of transparency in governance. It's a glass building, so it really uh, shows how transparent governance needs to be, both inward and outward looking. Further, the new chamber's public viewing area, the People's Square, will symbolize the importance of public participation in governance. It will also be surrounded by flagpoles, which will form part of a garden of remembrance for former council members. It's going to sit in a great public space as well and really be part of the city and an inspiration. There will also be a stoa walkway, a roofed colonnade typically used in ancient Greece, around the chamber. A technical control room will be located above the speaker's office, which will enable operators to focus on individual council members and to broadcast council sessions live. Further, six translation booths will be built above the control room. Denny highlighted that the community had played a significant role in the construction of the new council chamber, with about 20% of the 280 million construction spend being allocated to community development, as well as incubator and training programs. He asserted that this had resulted in the employment of about 40 small, medium-sized and micro-enterprises on the project. Following the tour of the council chamber construction site, the JPC took media to view another of the initiatives it is supporting, the 29,282 square meter Alex Mall, which started construction in October 2015 and is expected to open its doors for trading in March this year. It is a private uh, uh, initiative. Ourselves as the Great Alexandra Chamber of Commerce in partnership with McComic, which they are known for their expertise in developing a lot of malls, hence the reason for that partnership. And then Velumex, which is also an established uh, property development company, which we came together and then uh, started this project yeah, in partnership. The mall stands as a celebration of the more than 100 year history of Alexandra Township and also forms part of the Greater Alexandra Chamber of Commerce and Industries Alexandra Renewal Project. It's a milestone for the community of Alex and also explaining earlier that it's one of the legacy projects of the 100 year celebration of Alex, of changing the face of Alex. This is not only a retail node, we have incorporated tourism, arts and culture of the history of Alex, which will help us market and develop Alex into a distant brain. The shopping centre will have more than 100 retail stores and two miniature football fields with floodlights, which will border a 250 seat restaurant and a children's play area. The mall will also receive up to 30% of its energy requirements from rooftop solar panels and will also supplement a significant amount of its water needs through rainwater and grey water harvesting systems. About 1,000 Alexandra residents have received employment during the construction of the mall. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.